Now look at Lise LaVey. Had a tough time on the uneven bars, but now it's on to the beam, and her coach, Nancy Byer, told us what she expects. Well, I think she needs to do a repeat performance of what she did yesterday on the bars. Um, her balance beam, I know she can do it a little better. She made a few m mistakes, small, but uh, uh, her reputation is to be the best on the beam, and I think she can do that. So here is Lise LaVey as she tries to recover from not doing well on the uneven bars. Here she is on beam. Her score from the first day, a 9-1-5. And she's known as the rock on this team. She's trusted by the national coach to start Canada off on balance beam, the toughest event of all, at every international competition. And she always does it right for the team. But now, Teresa, she's in a different place, a place she's never been before. She doesn't even know if she's on this Olympic team yet. And after a disastrous bar routine, one would think that doubt would begin to creep in. As a coach, Carol Angela, which you are, you're going to the Olympics in Sydney, what would your advice be to a, an athlete that tries to overcome something that happens to them in competition? You immediately want them to begin to focus on the task at hand. And that's what these athletes learn to do so well. Lise is incredibly bright. She has a full scholarship. She's going to Stanford right after Sydney Olympics, should she make this team. And she knows how to put her problems behind her. This sport is so technical that you have to have phenomenal concentration ability. And you can see it right here, from a disastrous bar routine to a fairly solid beam routine under pressure like most will never experience. There's the bell. She has 10 seconds to dismount. No problem there. Well, she's known as the rock. She is consistent. She is the go-to gymnast, but a small problem here. Well, if you know Lee's as well as most of us do, this is a big problem for Lee's. But most athletes could have jumped off at that point. Not Lee's. Tremendous experience and a lot of...